Hello and welcome to day 10. I'm not yet dressed, I'm not yet showered and I thought that rather than subject you, subject you yet again to the sight of me in my strawberry hair towel I'd just sling a cardigan on over my nighty and come and do this first. So yes, it's Sunday morning so I'm having a, I'm having a slow move into the day today. I have been asked by Mr Davis to reassure you all that I was not drunk yesterday. I had not had a drink. When did I last have a drink? Several months ago. Probably not since we were on holiday in August. So yes, no alcohol has passed my lips. Um. And I also have to apologise because the chaos did not end with the recording of yesterday's vlog. What I do is I do a little bit of editing, which basically just means flipping you around so that you're not looking at a mirror image and putting the title on. So today it will be day 10. Then I save it to my phone. Then I upload it to YouTube and then I put in the title, put in the description, so you know any patterns that I'm, I'm putting down below for you. And then I schedule it to go live with the vlogs. I schedule it to go live that evening at seven o'clock GMT. Well, yesterday I kept I kept checking back to see if there were any comments and there were no comments and there were no views and I thought well perhaps everybody's busy it's Saturday evening I began to feel a little hurt that you'd all abandoned me and then eventually at quarter to ten in the evening I thought to double check and I had scheduled it to go live at seven o'clock on the e in the evening but on the 19th not the 9th that would have caused some confusion, I'm sure. So, yeah, I rectified that and it went live at 10 o'clock last night instead of 7 o'clock. So I am sorry for that. And yes, that was without alcohol. Can you imagine if I had been drinking? So, I showed you yesterday that I had abandoned my, um, what was it called? All the time sweater. My brain does this. If there's information it no longer needs, it just dumps it. It puts it in the recycle bin and it's gone. And I was going to cast... Oh dear. Cast on the... Calm and Joy shawl, which was an Advent MCAL last year. But I only found it this year. I was supposed to be knitting on my shortest day wrap yesterday but as predicted I got sucked into this so I have done this much let me turn that round I've put the, the um, like the progress marker in already let me bring it closer so I'm going to stick picture in here of the sweater as far as I'd got and I think you will agree that this is showing off the yarn much better than the sweater ever was going to. I'm up to day four, clue four, I've just started. I'm going to be knitting on this a bit more today because it's my new obsession. Turn that round, I don't know why it keeps flipping the wrong way. This is, um, this is from Denise at Dear Designs. It was a set of little wooden progress markers and stitch markers, um, and then with with Denise's encouragement, it's not the right word. I wondered if I could colour them in, and Denise suggested a type of pen, an acrylic pen, to colour them in, and so I did. And I love them even more now. I think she's just closed her coffee shop. I know she was going to close it over the weekend. It might be closed now. 
But yeah, Denise at Dear Designs. I think most of you watch her anyway. So, so yes, this is as far as I've got with the Calm and Joy shawl. And it is well named. I felt very calm and joyful while I was knitting it. How mad is that? If I move it forwards, it flips around the right way. I'm going to leave this for today though because I want to work on my Morrison scarf and I've been waiting for that so I'm going to do that. Let's open. <laughs> Let's open the next colour. This is the Ducky Darlings Charlie and the Chocolate Factory advent. Let me see what the next colour is called. I've got, oh yes. There's Two colours coming up that I'm a little bit concerned about, but I'm trusting in Hayley. Right, this is the next one. Russell warning, too late yet again. Ah oh, yes, it's, it's safe. Not only is it safe, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is, I'm going to double check because I messed this up yesterday. Augustus Gloop. It's coming out very grey on my screen and it's not completely grey. It's kind of a... Well, you can see there's these like tearly speckles in and that's tinging the grey as well. So it's really pretty. Really, really pretty. And because I'm now doing the shawl... What I've got to do is split each one into two 10 gram minis. I did that yesterday with all the ones that I'd already opened. So that one I can just go straight into splitting into two 10 gram minis. I'm very excited about this shawl. More about that later. Right, next. Let's do this. These are the 10 gram minis from the Discreet Unicorn with which I have been making this cow. It's last year's um, advent and I discovered yesterday that this, this one that I opened yesterday was actually a DK. I'm going to try next year to get her advent direct from her rather than by someone else's inner D-stash and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can get her DK one. It's lovely. I'm very much into the DK since I started this shawl where you hold the fingering double. This is where decision number one that I must tell you about has come. I'm not sure I'm going to carry on with this. I was perfectly happy until people started putting doubt into my head about the length of it. So I'm not going to sit on it anymore. I am getting a little bored because I've been doing, I've been keeping up with it every day. This is all nine days and day 10 is in my hand still. I have found another pattern that takes 10 gram minis and I might pull this down and do that instead. I know this is going to really distress some of you that I get, well, this is nearly halfway through knitting something and then go, no, I'm going to do something different instead. It's my policy with knitting in general, not just with advents. And I think I've proved it with the, the sweater that's now a shawl. The project I want to knit with a particular yarn may not work. That yarn might be right, not right for that project or the project might not suit that yarn. And rather than continue with it and end up with something in this case that I'm not going to wear because the knitting of it has spoilt it for me. I will pull it down and do something different because I'm a bit of a mixture of a process and a product knitter and if I'm not enjoying the process I know I'm not going to want the product. There's no point carrying on with something because it, it then, then when I finish it I don't want to look at it anymore. I don't want anything more to do with it and I know because this has happened in the past. So it's better to pause, even if I decide that I am going to continue and finish this, it's better to pause now than finish it, 
it go into a drawer and never be seen again because the yarn is beautiful. I love the colours so much. So we're going to carry on opening it. I'm going to pause knitting on it for the time being. So let's see what colour number 10 is. My bet is that it's going to be orange beginning to introduce another colour because I think we've finished the orange segment. I might be right. This is colour number 10. So it's beginning to get some red into it. Kind of blood orangey, I would have said. That's beautiful. This really is going to go on my list of advents I'm going to try and get next year. I know she's not going to do the same colours every year, but this is just beautiful. Okay. Let's open the Moonlight Fibre one for today. I'm going to show you what I've been knitting with it. Sorry, this is going to be quite rustly. I've only actually done days two and three because it's been out of the rotation for a while. But this is days two and three. This is so much fun to knit. What I did as an experiment, and I don't know that I'm going to do this with my next lot of colours, um, I swapped the main colour and the slip stitch colour in the middle section. I think what I'm going to do with my next colours today is use about 15 grams of the main colour and about five of the slip stitch colour. So I think I'm going to do that for the whole section, then swap them over so it's a longer section. But this is so much fun to knit. The cuff I knit prior to Advent with some West Yorkshire Spinners Marshmallow, I think it was. I wanted a neutral anyway, and so I put that on there. Had I known that I was going to end up using this Advent for it, the Advent actually came day one was a full skein of a neutral colour. So really... The universe had already sorted out that this was the project I needed to knit in this advent, had I but known. I did start a pagona and then pulled it down to make this, because it wasn't showing the yarn to its best advantage. You know all this. I've told you all this already. So, let's have a look at day 10 of Moonlight Fibre. It's going to... Where's the beginning? Here we are. It's going to have a way to go to beat yesterday's for wow factor. Let me see. I'm also with this project, I should just say, not necessarily going to use them in order. So I've done days two and three. I'm not necessarily going to do four and five, six and seven. I might mix them up because I want two yarns that contrast. I can see just the very end of it. Oh, wow. And again, look at this. This contrasts. That's much brighter on my screen than it is in real life. It's much more um, dusty pink and muted. Let me try. No, still, still picking it up is too bright. See, that's going to contrast beautifully with yesterday's yarn. I swear, this advent was meant for this project. The universe knew, even though I didn't. Right. This is for tomorrow's project. This is my yarny corner. Yesterday's colour, I guessed, was duck or goose, I think I said. Turned out to be hair. Not even close. It's wildlife inspired. 
Baby sawing wood in the garden. I, I'm hoping it, it's not annoying you. And he's got a ladder out. This means he's going on the kitchen roof to try and clear that gutter. Oh, wow. I forgot to prepare myself for the next colour because I was distracted. I don't know what this is. Ooh. Oh, I'll give that to Dave. It's a strawberry frutella today. I'll let him have that surviving the roof. He likes strawberry flavoured things. This is today's, my yarny corner. And this will be going into my quadrophenia blanket. This will be going into the second quadrant. Yes, up to day 12 we'll go into the second quadrant. Oh yeah. Not a clue what creature that could be. It's going to be something tropical, I'm guessing. But we've already had a fish and a frog that were tropical colours. Not a clue what that could be. We'll find out later today. Chameleon? Is that cheating? Because chameleons turn all sorts of weird colours. I could probably say chameleon every day and have a chance of being right. But I don't know. I don't know. It is beautiful though. Really beautiful. I like that one very much. Okay. So that leaves, and I will remember to open it today, the Mouse Witch Yarn Advent. I think it's another one of my favourites today. I've made a bit of a decision with that as well. Let me show you. I should have been working on this yesterday. Oh, I've lost my list. I should have been working on it all day yesterday. And I did put a couple of rows in. After I went to bed, I'm trying to find the... Here we go, look. That's how much work went into it yesterday. This is another project. My friend Sally... That was a cat fight, I heard. My friend Sally suggested leaving this and doing it through January. I'm going to pick this up again so I don't forget like I did yesterday. And that's, it did seem like a good good idea. Do a day, do a colour a day all through January. But I, I really want just to be finishing stuff up in January. And Belinda and I have got the topping off Mal for the first quarter of next year. So, yeah, I really want to be just concentrating on stuff that's left over. Not essentially starting a new project because I'm only very halfway at most into day three so I'm going to stop knitting that and I think I think it's either going to be there are two things that I'm really really enjoying knitting at the moment well there are three one is this new shawl it could end up being a new another comfort and joy shawl or it could end up being another quadrophenia blanket. I don't want to make another scarf. Because this is the advent that I dyed up. And I know that the days aren't going to contrast with each other. Because the days lead into each other. So, yeah, I think it's going to be one of those two projects. What I'm going to do is try and catch up with the Comfort and Joy shawl. So I'm on day four there. I need to catch up to day 10 at the moment. By the time I get to it again on Tuesday, there'll be another two days to go into it. If I can catch up so that I'm putting in the right day that I'm on, is are you following this? Then I might think about casting this on as one of those. Because I know what this advent looks like, I'm either going to wait till the end and do another quadrophenia blanket, or I'm going to knit a comfort and joy shawl as soon as I can. 
I haven't decided yet. If I leave it until I've finished, then I've only got three things that I'm knitting on. I've only got the shawl with the Ducky Darlings advent, the blanket with the My Yarny Corner advent, and the scarf with the Moonlight Fibre advent. I'm undecided at the moment what to do about my own. So it's just going on pause, as is the cowl. We're going to concentrate on the three. So before I have to record another video and tag it on, Let's look at today's colour from the Mouse Witch Yarn Advent. This is day 10, everybody. It is another one of my favourites and I, I, I can't say too much. I can't say too much until the very end. Right. As it is also Sunday, and it is the second Sunday of Advent, there is a sock set to open for those of you who ordered the sock set. Mine is not wrapped, so I don't have to open it, but I am going to show it to you. Again, if you've ordered the sock set, it the, the mini and the full skein are wound together. But I think, I know it caused some people some confusion last week, I think this week might be a bit easier for you to determine. So these contrast rather than complement. So I think when you open it you will be able to see that the pink is your mini. So that's your mouse witch yarn sock set for today. I'm not making socks with my sock sets. I'm waiting until the end till I've got all my full skeins together and then I'm going to make a project with them all. At the moment it might be another comfort and joy shawl because you can do that with five full skeins. Or of course there is coming on Boxing Day, we call it Boxing Day, the day after Christmas, um, Stephen West Hyber Knit Along begins where you need five colours. Now they should be a fade, but I don't suppose it matters if they're not. So that's also an option. But yes, I'm not making socks. That's all you need to know. I'm not making socks. I'm saving them to all go into a project together. Okay, that is all I have to tell you. It was another longish one today, for which I am sorry. Um... I need to get in the shower and wash my hair really so I'm gonna go and do that and I will see you tomorrow bye